An Ontario couple is finding themselves with a bigger insurance bill after Canada Post changed their postal code. Joining us this morning is lawyer Jasmine Daya. Thank you for being here, Jasmine. Thanks for having me. Okay, so to clarify, this couple did not move. Uh, Canada Post simply changed the last three digits of their postal code, which then put them in a, a group of postal codes with higher insurance rates. And then they ended up having uh, to pay 10% more for auto insurance, 37% more for home insurance. Is there anything a couple, this couple can do? Not that much. And unfortunately, this is not new. This happens all the time, especially within Toronto. You could move a few streets over and find that you're paying huge premiums, like huge increase. Well, we've got a map here of auto insurance rates in the greater Toronto area. And as you can see, people are paying more away from the downtown core. So, is there an issue with uh, insurance companies saying, well, if you live here, you got to pay more? So it depends who you ask. Yeah. I mean, people that are paying lower rates being outside the GTA are very happy to have postal code discrimination because they benefit. Yeah. However, people in the suburbs within the GTA, so not the downtown core, but within the GTA, uh, they're the most upset. People in Brampton, people in Scarborough, their rates are very high. You'll be surprised to know that within the downtown core in Midtown, they are paying lower rates than outside within the GTA uh, because the idea is that there's, there's less claims, people are using their cars less mm -hmm. if they are downtown. But I, I can understand sort of the notion of where you live will affect your insurance. I mean, I, I know a lot of young friends who want to buy uh, in up-and-coming areas, which is a nice way of saying places that are a little rough around the edges, which means that the crime rate might be a little higher there, which should affect your insurance in certain ways. It should, but at the same time, things like your driving history, your claims history, the make, model, and year of your vehicle are really what we should be looking at, not just your postal code. Okay, well, let's swing to the other, way, uh, other direction because there's a private member's bill uh, from Ontario MP Parm Gill, which could eliminate... Um, geographical location is a factor for insurance uh, entirely. It just made it past its second reading in the House of Commons, which means it could become law. Um, but there, are, there is some criticism for, for this bill. Talk, talk to me about that. That's right. So the member's bill that you've mentioned was actually mentioned in, uh, in uh, Ford's budget and they are backing this bill because it's not fair to a lot of people. But again, depending on who you ask, some people are very upset about this because they people outside of the GTA don't want to have to compensate. However, no one actually said that even if this passes, that the rates are going to go down. Right, that, which is a problem for most people, especially in this province. All right, so last question. If you could fix this problem, what's the first thing that you would do? Well, I would encourage people to always shop around for the best rates. You also want to behave on the roads, keep a good, uh, good driving record so that you get the best possible rate. You might want to use a broker. They can shop around for you and find insurers that perhaps you weren't aware of. Jasmine Daya, thank you so much for being here, for breaking this down for us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much.